Hey everybody, this is Esper of the Fragdolls, and I hope you guys are excited to check out my favorite gaming goodie, which also happens to correspond with holiday treats. And I'm going to be teaching you today how to make roll-out sugar cookies. So this is great for utilizing those little you know, cookie cutters you have lying around and more. So let's get started. First off, you're going to need some ingredients. You're going to need 3 fourths cup of softened butter, 1 cup of white sugar, 2 eggs, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, 2 and a half cups of flour, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, and finally half a teaspoon of salt. You're also going to need some tools. You're going to need a large mixing bowl, a cookie sheet, Pam spray, measuring cups, a hand mixer, cookie cutters, and of course, some tasty decorating knobs. Now it's time to start mixing. I'm actually going to play a little bit of music to keep me company line mix. And right now I'm mixing together the softened butter and the sugar. This is the start of our wet ingredients. And then I'm going to pour in the two eggs and vanilla extract. You want to make sure this is nice and creamy super mixed because it'll make pouring in the dry ingredients a lot easier. So I'm only going to pour in half of the dry ingredients at a time. So that is the flour, the baking powder, and then of course a little bit of the salt. And as you can see here, it is a little bit messy. The um, flour has a tendency to fly up a little bit. So I suggest starting off at a lower speed with this, stopping it, turning it on and off to <laughs> make sure it doesn't go everywhere. I actually had a portion of the video that I cut where it flew into my hair, but I didn't think you guys wanted to see that, so I took it out. And of course, you're going to want to make sure to get all of the dough out of the hand mixer. You want to get all of that delicious dough out of there because you don't want to waste any of this delicious, delicious baked good preparation. Okay, now that that's done, you're going to go wash those off, rinse them off, and of course, wash your hands. And put all the dough together into a quick little ball. You're actually going to put this in the fridge and chill it for at least an hour overnight if possible. So after your cookie dough is all chilled, take it out, roll it out. Um, I didn't have a rolling pin so I had to use a play mat dough. I made sure to wash it, no worries. And of course you want to flour and sugar the surface that you're going to be rolling this out. The butter will melt down and it'll make everything a little sticky and you don't want that to happen. So make sure it's nice and smooth, even, and then cut out some fun shapes. You're going to be putting these shapes on a Pam sprayed cookie sheet. And then you're also going to be putting these delicious cookies into a preheated 400 degree oven. They're going to bake for about 6 to 8 minutes. So after your cookies have completely cooled, it's time for decorating. I know this is kind of the funnest part about cookie baking. And I do kind of have to agree, you can really get creative with your cookies. And in this case, I went and got some of these little pre-packaged icing packs. These are great because it really cuts down on decorating time. And they come in a wide array of colors. Of course, I had to go with uh, the same old, same old pink and black. But to mix it up a little bit, I decided to make this one splinter cell themed, as you can see by the little uh, goggles that I made <laughs> right there. And then since Anne Marie, or AKA Spectra, is a huge fan of the Splinter Cell series, I had to make this a Spectra cookie. That's another great thing about these little prepackaged icing pens. It makes writing a lot easier. And as you can see, they're definitely concentrating pretty hard. And then I'm finally going to finish off with some glitter sugar, also delicious. And there you go. That's a finished Spectra cookie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video for cutout sugar cookies. I hope you guys have a happy holidays and thanks for watching.